And our third and final main topic today gets submitted to us by Strong and Strong writes, Hey, John, I don't know if you saw, but uh, Matthew Baloney, the former editor at The Hollywood Reporter, reported that Disney has reportedly finalized on keeping Eternals as a theatrical-only release. And this is nothing but awesome news. This is the right call. Shang-Chi is our savior, and I'm really happy. What are your thoughts? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, Strong. Look, when a lot of people knew heading into Shang-Chi, a lot of eyeballs are going to be on it. Bob Chapek made the, I know he didn't mean it as bad as it sounded. I know he did not mean it to sound as bad as it sounded, but it was still an unbelievable brain fart blunder when he said, oh yeah, Shang-Chi is going to be an interesting little experiment. Well, anyway, this interesting little experiment experiment turned a lot of heads and when the box office numbers for Shang-Chi started rolling in, a lot of questions started to come up with was, well, what does this mean for Eternals? Because up until recently, Disney has not been willing to commit one way or the other as to what their streaming strategy is going to be. But apparently we do now. As the former editor, uh, Matt, in his uh, news uh, news. Uh, uh, in his news mag, What I'm Hearing, or his newsletter, What I'm Hearing, he wrote the following. After Disney CEO Bob Chapek basically dared Shang-Chi to perform in theaters over Labor Day weekend, and it did, 94 million domestically, he couldn't possibly put Eternals on Disney Plus day and date, right? I'm told Chapek and distribution chief Kareem Daniels have made their decision on the November movie's fate, and it will indeed receive an exclusive theatrical run. Disney declined to comment. Uh, Marvel's Kevin Feige and Angelina Jolie's agents can exhale now. So that comes to us again from Matt, who is the former reporter. Again, this isn't Gus's movie reviews dot fart. This is a guy who is the reporter who has an editor over at uh, over there at the folks at the Hollywood Reporter. And Rob. I don't think this is terribly surprising. I think most of us, it's fair to say that when news came out, when we started to see what Shang-Chi's numbers were pulling in, I think a lot of us then immediately turned our attention to what's Eternals going to do. And I think a lot of us believe that there's just no way Bob Chapek, who seems to live in fear of the shareholders, instead of being a leader, he seems to live in perpetual fear of what the shareholders think. Anyway, there's no way Bob Chapek can go to the shareholders and say, we're going to put Eternals on Disney Plus at this point. He just can't. I mean, at least that's what I thought. You never know. He's done dumber things. Bob Chapek has done much dumber things. So never put it past Bob Chapek to do the dumb thing. But it seemed to me like it was clear choice to put now to make sure and commit that Eternals is going to be a theatrical exclusive release. And Rob, once again, going back to what we were talking about a little bit earlier is this is going to help Disney plus in the long run. You having Eternals get a theatrical release first, make its money in theaters, get all the notoriety, get all the attention, get all the buzz, get all the talk. And then 45 days later, you get to do it all again by saying, and now, now it's on Disney plus, and it's just going to help Disney plus. It's just going to help Eternals. Everybody wins. If indeed this report is true and Bob Chapek can stay out of his own dumbass way. If that's the case, I think this is a win for Disney overall on every level for the theatrical, for Disney plus, for the movie, for the players involved. This is great. Now I still don't know how Rob, I don't know how Eternals is going to do at the box office. I, I, I just don't know at this point, apparently the movie is spectacular, but Honestly, until we get a little bit closer and we get a full marketing campaign in full swing, I'm not really sure. I don't know if it can make as much money as Shang-Chi. I really don't. But at least now we're going to find out. Rob, you hear about this report. Do you believe it? What do you think the options here are? How do you see this? Well, first of all, you know, we've been hearing whispers that The Eternals is one of the best movies Marvel's ha Marvel has made. And knowing what I know, because I... You know, I've read the comics, Neil Gaiman's versions, Jack Kirby's versions, other other versions. I think the story of what Eternals is addressing, if I'm clear about it, is going to be one of epic resonating proportions. And the idea behind it is going to be a pretty mind blowing. And I think because it's dealing with at least 
from what I understand, it's dealing with a certain conundrum <laughs> faced by the entire planet that only the Eternals can uh, prevent from happening. I think this movie's going to kick ass, and I think it's going to surprise people. And as you have said many times on the show, uh, it's directed by the reigning champion of film directors. The reigning! Defending, I, I, yeah. I mean, I, I think that... Um, I, 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 you know, John, I think this movie is going to be huge. I think this is the kind of movie that people, it's going to come. I think people know less about that than they knew about Shang-Chi. And I think they haven't really, they haven't really hinted at what's really going on in the trailers yet. Kind of like in Shang-Chi, we didn't know a lot of, like, I didn't know it was a full-blown wuxia fantasy epic. I didn't know that. They didn't show us in the trailer. And I think that what's happening in the Eternals is much bigger than people know, or they've let on, uh, in the trailers at least. And I think this movie is, is going to do huge business. I don't know if it's going to do Shang-Chi business, but I think that um, it's a great plan. Marvel is back. I think they realized that I think they really did hurt Black Widow's theatrical run a bit. It killed being the that theatrical it, run. Yeah, that, that it was day and date. I mean, I, I think the Marvel Cinematic Universe doesn't need help eternals is going to be its 26th offering in movie theaters and this idea that well during a pandemic we have to go day and date on disney plus disney plus look they're going to get the subscribers they didn't need to do it disney plus subscribers have been expanding further and, and faster than they thought and um i think um uh, eternals is going to do quite well by being theatrical only yeah i mean look you and I both heard, re referencing back to what you were alluding to earlier, you and I both heard from somebody inside, and other people have reported the same thing, by the way, that in the halls of Marvel, they seem to believe that Eternals is the best film they've ever made. Now, that doesn't mean you and I are going to agree with that. Like, once we, that just because they think that doesn't mean we're going to think that, not at all. But it at least says something when you have a company like Marvel, Rob, that has had the success that they've had. They've had a Best Picture nomination. They've got all the stuff T to hear coming out of there that internally Marvel feels like this is their best film. I mean, maybe we shouldn't be surprised. They've got the reigning director of the year in Chloe Zhao who's directing it. They went all out on the cast on this thing. I mean, so maybe we shouldn't be terribly surprised, uh, but I will say this as much as I really like the last trailer, if Eternals is going to do Shang-Chi or better numbers, they've got to, they've got to up their marketing game. They've got to mark uh, uh, up their marketing game because right now I don't think as it stands, I don't think people are feeling like watching these eternal trailers, especially the first one. The first one was a very like, here's a little glimpse. I liked it, but a lot of people didn't. The second one was a much improved one, but I still feel like they need to up it a bit if they're going to generate the type of buzz and hype and anticipation that they feel this film deserves. I don't know. What do you think about that? Where do you th what do you think they need to do get the hype built up on this? Well, like anything else, I mean, I think when you have the goods, when you have a, a, great, a great movie, especially a Marvel film, you run the risk of tipping your hand. Yeah, that's true. And and I think that that if what I suspect is happening in this movie is happening, I don't think you want people to know that in the trailer because it's it's a pretty shocking revelation. And I I think that that we we have to trust. I think Eternals is going to be kind of in the situation that Shang-Chi is in the sense that I think Eternals is going to be such an interesting film. And it's going to expand not only the history of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but the history of our own planet, that people are going to be so intrigued by that once the once the cat is out of the bag. But it's a tough one because, you know, right now people don't know the Eternals and the questions they have about the Eternals relationship to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Like, well, how come you didn't show up during the when the Chitari are invading New York? Or, and then because they've said in one trailer, ah, we promised we shouldn't. We shouldn't interfere, but that's not enough. You know, were any of the Eternals snapped away by Thanos? I don't know. We'll find out. Do people know Thanos is an Eternal himself? 
No. But if you do, if you read the comics, uh, do you know, is Thanos going to be in the movie? Very possibly, I would imagine. Uh, I don't know that. There's no reason I would think that. But the fact is, it could be pretty interesting. But would you want to put that in a trailer? Mm, I don't know. I just think they got they got to play it. They got to go the way they're going on this one. And I think let it's like shang chi dude they started showing shang chi to people we saw it a couple weeks in advance we're walking out you saw it twice when i when you took me i I, you were buzzing already we come out of that theater and i was buzzing as much as you were and why because the movie was good and i think that's what they're going to do they they're going to follow the same pattern they're probably going to show eternals a couple of weeks before to people that matter the the genre press maybe three weeks before and then they're going to have other press screenings And that word of mouth is going to get out and then everyone's going to call us Disney shills. And maybe, you know, one day we'll get a check, but, um, uh, but, and they'll do the same thing they did with Shang-Chi and it'll open beyond expectations. All right, guys, the question is for you. You're hearing about all this Eternals. Apparently, according to these reports, we'll wait to see it when Disney, if, and when Disney comes out and confirms this, but according to the reports that Eternals is going to get a theatrical exclusive relief, which would of course be the right move. Bravo, Bob Chapek. Let's see if he can actually stay out of his own dumb way. What do you guys think about this? Jump on down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.